traffic a lot because, well, I see a lot of it. This is 295 North. Now, there's not much traffic coming towards me. This is a Friday. I'm heading home. It says I'll be home. Well, actually, I'll be at the dealership at 208 or 1408. The dealership is only 14 miles away. It's telling me 25 minutes. It's probably pretty accurate, but still. It, it's a 60 mile an hour road. I should easily be able to get there in 14 to, I'll say, 17 minutes. But if I'd have had to have waited till 3.30, then it'd have been worse. And you got people up on the shoulder riding because, well, they're nuts. And there's a car blocking up ahead, so we'll see what's going on. I'm Mike to keep you guys. We'll be back. We really haven't gone too much farther. So I'm at 95 40, 495 Richmond exit from 295. I'm in the nice forested area of it. Basically you go about not even a quarter mile that way and you get the south end that way. Less than a quarter mile you got houses and businesses and everything. We're in a little forested area though so it's pretty neat. Nice to try and get the most of the sound out. Because you need to put up these giant ugly walls and you can leave in a little patch of forest. You want the patch of forest to be about a quarter mile. Or you want that wall tall enough to where the sound won't come over and just decimate any sound that your house has. Because roadways are noisy. But I had a good day at work. See, we dealt with, I want to say, three promotions to big events, a tour, and the honor flight canceled. They went somewhere else today, not a big deal. I wanted to make sure they knew. I always prefer to give them the heads up. They're always nice enough to give us the heads up. And it's funny, in a moment here, you should pick back up just to slow back down. Basically, you pick up once all the guys were going on 95, 495, we're out of the way. And then we'll pick up to uh, Goddard. And at Goddard, it slows back down. Now, yeah, there's other routes I can take. But most of it's just housing and stop and go, stop and go, stop and go, stop and go. I don't have a really cool off-road or, you know, anything to get going. So this is going to get loud, so I'm going to cut this off a bit. And I'll be back with you in a little bit. I was wrong. Usually about Goddard, I hit traffic, and it's traffic all the way up to the exit there. That's the fastest I've ever gone through there. That's pretty cool. It's probably because I'm recording today, and they're like, oh, I don't want to have this for recording. Right turn on right after stop if it's safe. sitting there. It's a nice one too. A couple of trikes. All used. Well, we're going to go in for a minute. I say hey. Just look around.
stop in to see if some of the stuff I had been looking at is in. It's not. Yes, I have reverse, but I find that I don't need it half the time. And why use it if you don't need to? Now, anybody who's known me long enough knows my thing about fat boys. There is a fat boy there. I only want 20000 for it. Outside of what I can afford right now, but man, that is one of those bikes I would love to have. Probably never get, but I fan them for test drives. Had a friend with one. They're a fun bike. But I do like a bike with a fairing now. I think I'm gonna stick with the fairing. Alright, we'll be back in a little bit.